Hello Patriot League fans and welcome to this men's basketball edition of Patriot League Roundup. It was a decisive night for the home teams on Wednesday as Bucknell, Holy Cross and Lafayette all improved to 2-0, while Lehigh picked up its first win of the season. Lafayette coach Fran O'Hanlon moved within one of tying Patriot League all-time record for coaching wins, and Lehigh C.J. McCollum had Wednesday's best performance with 26 points. Let's check out all the highlights from Wednesday's game. Lehigh's one championship came against them in the title game, and there is Hinkle. Hinkle fouled in the act of a made three-point shot. Swing far side, and the three is a good one. Checked in for Lehigh. Where's number one? Adams from the near corner. Ring him up. Good looks at the basket. Nice two-man game being created here. Good recovery by the Hawks. Hinkle, yes. 3.3 more attempts than their opponents. There's a turnover for by Lehigh, they have nine seconds. Knutson running the court the other way, lays it up and in. Knutson skying for the rebound. Column attacking the back. He's in possession and up one. Knutson leads for Hamilton in the far corner. Ring him up to take advantage of it. McKnight loses the handle on it, saves it somehow to handle And McKnight crashing on the baseline. Run out that little screen for the two-man game. And he sets an imposing screen out there, doesn't he? Oh, wow. Looking working inside the quick hands of C.J. McCollum. He's looking to force the issue. McKnight leaves it up top of the catch and finish for C.J. McCollum. Like very unselfish there, gave it right back to CJ, and CJ showed you his athleticism for that. That clock under 10. Spring tried to get something down low. That's a nice option though, too. Winkle does have 20, 11th time this year. He's hoping to miss them on the exchange there, but dribble drive, swinging it out. Hawks had an advantage rebounding in the first half, and now for the game, up 37-32. How quickly they attack. Lehigh continued to add to its lead and handed American a 71-60 loss on Wednesday. C.J. McCollum finished with 26 points and is now averaging 26.5 in his first two league games in 2012. Mackie McKnight had eight assists and John Adams had 11 points. American's Charles Hinkle finished with 22 points. Bryson on this play, he went under the screen on the dribble handoff. Here's another one by Bryson. Bingo! Point in terms for that reason. Nice give and go for a long three by James. He hits another one and we're tied again. The place he likes to get it low post. Another three up and good this time by Mitch Rolls. Bowen for second place. Top of the key three launch by Ayers. Bingo! Over on the left side to Cohen off the screen by Wilman. He'll take his man baseline, get caught in the air, kick it out for a three by Johnson. Bingo! Kick it all the way across the hill. Great reversal for a three by Johnson. Bingo! Long pass to Fitzpatrick. He'll twist the turn and get a layup off the glass and time out. Raiders. Now a skip pass over to Cohen. He'll dribble left baseline. Go up for a push nice shot off the glass. Nice pop to Cohen. He'll dribble right side for a turnaround jump shot. It is good. Who goes in the paint, kicks it out for a Johnson three. Bingo! Bryson hits his first three of the half. He left in this one. Who will go strong downside, kick it out for a Johnson three. Bingo! Bryson is red hot tonight. He has 17. Johnson's 17 points were a game high, and Mike Mascala and Brian Cohen both chipped in with 13. Mascala had 11 boards for the double double. Pat Moore and Brandon James each had 10 points for the Raiders. Smith has been a monster on the offensive glass. Reverse layup. Here's Evans. Tabateo for three. Got it. Nothing but net. With the ball stolen by Tabateo. Watch this. Like Tabateo. In the first half, Justin Burrell for three. Smith spins to the hoop, has it rejected. Here comes Devin Brown, racing back the other way. Brown. Here's Evans, tracks it down on the battle. RJ Evans throws it down. All day long when he doesn't have time to set up. 
Round 10 of 11 and from one. the free throw line. Catch and basket. Devin Brown completed the and one opportunity, and the Crusaders held on to win 73-69 on Wednesday. Brown finished with 22 points, and R.J. Evans and Phil Evans each had 14 points. Navy's J.J. Avila and Jordan Sugars each had 22 points. And it's so good to see Tony Johnson back there. How about that little move? And Tony gets his first assist. They're getting back to Tony Johnson. He does a oh, nice backdoor pass. Tony gets rid of it. How about a Rob Delaney triple? Wow. Yeah. Rob knocks it down. Jeez. Chris thought about it. Then he goes to the hole. Kicks it back out. Oh, now was going up. Fake me out. Rob Delaney's been perfect. Rob Delaney's been perfect. It's one of those passes. If it's successful, you get a big round of applause and move from the crowd. Ryan Willen finally breaks the drought. Now our baseline. Kicks it out. Well, Smith. Got it. Just a dude. That's out. That's by Geese. So it's Will and Chris, East Delaney. Delaney's open. He'll put up a three, and he'll knock it down. Way outside, Rob. Boy, this has been his night. He has 15 points, 5-3. Lafayette held the lead throughout, winning 75-63 over Army on Wednesday. Rob Delaney led the way with 19 points, and Ryan Willen had 13. Army was led by Ella Ellis' 18 points. A battle of undefeateds will take place on Saturday as Bucknell travels to Lafayette for a rematch of last year's championship game. Lafayette coach Fran O'Hanlon will look to tie the Patriot League record for coaching wins when they tip off at 1 p.m. Lehigh will travel to Colgate where they lost last season in a last-second thriller, while Holy Cross and American will tip off in D.C. at 2 p.m. And on the CBS Sports Network, you will find Army vs. Navy in the Star Game at 2.30 p.m. We'll recap all four games from Saturday early next week, so be sure to check back for the next edition of Patriot League Roundup. You can also follow the games online over the weekend by logging on to PatriotLeague.com or by following us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next week.